Here are some of the big stories we'll be telling you about in the next 15 minutes. From Capitol Hill to the White House, Democrats ready to celebrate the win on health care reform. The Senate's final vote set for tomorrow morning. They should have the 60 votes they need to pass the bill before Christmas. We'll have a full breakdown from the White House next. The Senate is on track to pass its version of health care reform. A third and final procedural vote is set for tomorrow morning. But the expected passage of the bill comes after a bitter fight. And some are saying the legislative victory could do serious damage to Democrats in 2010. Joining me now, CNN senior political analyst and Republican strategist Ed Rollins and Democratic strategist Kiki McLean. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Morning. So, good morning. Good morning. So, Ed, let me tee this up for you right now. <laughs> How much will this long, arduous, partisan process hurt the Democrats, do you think? Well, if they're debating health care in 2010 as opposed to jobs, it will hurt them badly. Uh, there's a lot in this bill that people don't know about and will over the course of time. But I think very quickly people are going to want to shift the dialogue to, to jobs, getting this economy moving again. This health care bill it doesn't go into existence till 2014. The taxes come in, some of the Medicare cuts, some of the bad stuff comes in early, uh, and certainly Republicans will try and make that an issue. But Kiki, some of the good stuff comes in early too, right? And might that help the Democrats? Well, it does. And you know, I said to somebody yesterday, if we only get to the very basic issue of not having pre-existing conditions limit your access to health care, that's a huge victory for the American people. I think Democrats and people who have supported Democrats understand that. Look, Ed and I agree, this economy and jobs is the most important thing when you look at a political calculus for next fall. But health care reform plays a role in that economic package. And in fact, we're, we're making headway. And this is also about restoring confidence. If I'm an, inc an incumbent member of Congress, I already hold my seat. I want to be able to show that I made headway, and I think Democrats are showing that. Uh, you know, Democratic Congressman uh, Parker Griffith switched parties, and he blamed health care for the switch. So are we going to see more of that, Ed? I mean you, you may. Uh, we're, we're certainly, we certainly welcome them as our first victory of the 2010 election. And we, uh, at our position, we count any victory uh, on any day uh, with a new, new Republican. Uh, you know, I think, I think there's 10 or 15 members... Uh, who are a little bit out of sync with the liberal leadership of the House, and uh, some of them are going to be in jeopardy. Uh, I don't think you're going to see a bunch of them switch, but I think some of them could be defeated. Uh, uh, Kiki, a lot of people are upset about these sweetheart deals, you know, that the Senator Reid made to, to get his 60 votes. Might this come back and bite him and threaten his political career? No, I don't think that's the case at all. The reality is when a leader goes in to negotiate what the issues are with a particular member of his caucus. In this case, I think people have talked about Senator Nelson and some others. Uh, that's part of the legislative process. They're there to represent their state and do what they believe is right for their state. So for those elected officials, those members of Congress who have been able to coordinate an issue with Senator Reid, they're going to do well in their home state. Look. I can remember being the communications director at the Democratic National Committee uh, during the summer of 1993 when one of the most controversial pieces of legislation ever was passed, and that was Bill Clinton's first budget, um, which in fact led to eight years of terrific prosperity. And at the time, there was much hand-wringing over the negotiations that went on, and uh, a lot of those folks went on to have great careers. In 94, there well, were seats lost in a big way that weren't really about that bill. Uh, because, in fact, when you went into 96 for the re-election after that, you had terrific prosperity as a result of that bill. Still, there are some who say, Ed Rollins, that these sweetheart deals well, are unprecedented. Well, they are unprecedented, and equally as important, uh, President Obama promised things were going to be different in Washington. And I think the public is now seeing that they're not only not different, they're probably even worse. I think the bottom line is you have two bills, House bill, a Senate bill. Neither would pass the other body at this point in time. And as people start looking at these 2,000-page bills, they start seeing the Nelson deal. Nelson said yesterday, three senators walked up on the floor and said, I've now seen your deal. I want it too. <laughs> well, you can't basically start doing 11 different states as they have and have a national bill when everything is figured out in a certain way that's supposed to be uh, uh, cost-efficient and, and cost-neutral. It Mike won't be at the end of the day when, when you start giving all these sweetheart deals. But might the Republicans blame in part themselves for this because none of them were going to vote. Didn't they sort of force Senator Reid's hand in making some of these sweetheart it, deals? Senator, Senator Reid could have made a, a sweetheart deal with the Republicans months ago. They could have knocked down the walls and let uh, let uh, insurance companies deal across state lines. There are a lot of things that some Republicans would have done. Yeah, but been. the public option is out. The, the public, well, we, the, public is the, out. Public, the public option may not be out. The, it's in the House bill and obviously that's going to be one of the one of the big issues that, that are going to be debated in the, in the conference. You, this conference will be know, a knockdown, the, drag out uh, battle, uh, uh, battle royal. <laughs> Kiki, go ahead. I have, I, have, I, yeah, I have to say, look, there's a lot of finger pointing to go around. The reality is, as of tomorrow, 
we're going to have legislation in both the House and the Senate that we can work with. We've never been that far before. I'm sort of tired of the bashing and the finger pointing. Republicans didn't do much to help this process. In fact, they tried to hinder it. Democrats, there are moments that it wasn't a popular place for them to be either. I think part of this is what do the majority of Americans want? They want health care reform. There are political battles on the extreme, the birthers, the Tea Party folks on one end who don't want Obama to have any victory. There are people on the far left who don't want to see any compromise whatsoever. But the bottom line is the majority of Americans want health care reform. And if we allow the perfect to get in the way of the good, we will never make progress. And what we've got here is the good, and we're moving forward. There is no major reform or progress in this country that we've had where there was 100% agreement where to go on day one. And the fact that we're even to a conference <laughs> coming in January is a big deal. Obviously, you've not read a bunch of polls, including the CNN poll, the last several weeks. This thing is not popular with the country anymore. And obviously, as people find more details about it, and as the I, insurance rates go up, it basically will be less popular. Okay. Okay. But Ed, we Ed, have to, I we think have you would agree Christmas. that Americans <laughs> want Merry Christmas. reform. <laughs> <laughs> Merry <laughs> Christmas. Let's cross the partisan divide. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas We'll debate all. this in the new year. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. I'll meet you back here, Ed. <laughs> Ed Rollins, Kiki McClay, Thank thanks very much. Oh, it's in the holiday <laughs> spirit you. this yes. morning, ah, isn't it? It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? <laughs>